Q&A time on the C you oh, podcast. We're going to do a Q&A. All right. You want to just do one? Yeah, let's do one. Well, we've been talking for... No, it's only an hour 18. We, this, this has been it's a long right. podcast. Uh, this is from at Phil Tyler 80 Forget gamer chairs. How about gamer beds? Which then links to a uh, an article from Gizmodo. Decked out bed for gamers only comes in single sizes. Um, no amount of caffeine, sugar, or Doritos can get around it. Even the most diehard gamer is going to have to eventually abandon their sweet gaming setup and climb into bed for some rest. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean gaming has to be put on hold thanks to Bahutes, Bahoots new gaming beds. So what... <laughs> what wow. Do you, what do you get in this setup, Ian? You get a bed. You get a mattress. It looks like a small sort of single mattress. It is a single. They only come in singles. <laughs> But the more you spend doing this, you're probably going to need a bigger bed eventually mm -hmm. to hold the girth that might develop. You get a shelf to your uh, by your right foot, which could hold, it looks like, uh, drinks and other items. Behind you, you have um, a little lamp and a shelf for things. To your left, you have drink holders for your Monster Ener Energy Drink or your Coca-Cola. And then you also have the stand for your keyboard to your left. And then you have two more holsters for more, I don't know, ramen noodle cups, a cup of noodle or wrap noodles and more drinks. A holster for your for your, uh, for your your controller. You have a wraparound table in front of you by your feet. And then you have two gaming monitors set up for you. So you can lean back on your, looks like soft uh, pillow, body pillow that could be something like beanbag-ish, but probably foam. And you sit back and you game to your heart's consent, content without standing up or without even sitting. You are kind of laying back and relaxing in your PJs uh, there. The only thing missing is a built-in bedpan, it says. Oh, that's a, that, that's not included? No. You gotta, you gotta go South Park. You gotta tell mom to come and bring the bedpan and crap all over. There's there's very little snark in this article. This is also by Mr. Lazewski. Why oh, was, oh, wow. Why, and, we're gonna be friends with Andrew. Why was there so much snark yeah, why is in the Nintendo let, let, article, The heartwarming Nintendo story with a 95-year-old grandma. Mr. Lazewski. Andrew. Andy. Come, what are we doing here? Andy, Andy, if we can call you that. Oh, it is a bean, custom beanbag uh, pillow. The suggested rig includes the desk, headboard, bed frame, rolling shelving, and adjustable keyboard tray, and a gaming blanket and custom BB pillow is priced just north of $1,000 after currency conversion. So I guess the, the bottom is just getting the, the, the bed desk, which is $300, simple bed frame incorporating an elevated desk at the foot, allowing gaming sessions to continue even after gamers are too exhausted to sit upright in a chair. So is it just me or can you smell that thing through the computer screen? It won't sell good. It smell good. It's going to be a bunch of Cheeto smells, maybe uh, some Sour Patch Kids. Um, and, Does and, the mattress and, come pre-dusty with like snack I, crumbs? I love, I love in the pictures they blur out all the brand names of like he's going for snacks and the cokes blurred out and like his his cup of noodles sitting by his, literally by his, the foot of his bed. You see there? God, that's a out. disaster waiting to happen. Uh, you you got to be careful with your wrap noodles there. So, does it come with the actual mattress? I don't know. I would guess not for a thousand dollars. A mattress would would be at least. Yeah, I can't there. see that. The bed is flipping covered. I would see what it should come with the mattress. You can buy a cheap uh, IKEA buy a, a, a bed with the mattress for cheap, can't you? And well, this will not be a comfortable mattress though. No. If it comes with this, no, no. This is going to be the fold out one you see at the swap meet that converts into a, a, an uncomfortable bed into an uncomfortable sofa. That's what this mattress is going to be. Maybe they are comfortable to swap me. People buy them. They're like fake futons, whatever those things are. Oh yeah, yeah. What the fuck are those things? They're like they're like they're like so thin, but I guess people like them because they're cheap. Anyway, um, so yeah, it looks like it's one, two, three, four. It's it looks like it's six pieces. You got a piece there. Was there's like different shelves and things, and um, yeah, I would say the minimum to me that you would need would probably be, you would need uh obviously the the mattress or, or bed. With the thing behind you, with the lamp, you're gonna need the obviously the, the monitor uh, desk at your feet, and you're gonna need the keyboard. You probably need three pieces minimum. The other shelves you probably can get away with not getting here. Uh, to me, you're gonna need like three pieces here in order to do that. Do you know anyone in your life that would actually want something like this? No. Or, or use it? Is this some? Is there? Is there? A, is there a market for this though? Do you actually think there is? I'm like 50-50 thinking if there's a market for this. Because once you get to this point. You might as well just give up at life to me. If you can't even get up to go sit down somewhere, it's over, I think, at that point. At least to me. I mean, I've seen, Unless like... You're, I've unless seen, you're like, bedridden. 
maybe or you're sick sure if you're sick or whatever that makes sense but i've seen like cursed photos of people who just kind of live like this like oh, as really? it is and yeah I, I could see it selling to people who don't need it it's unfortunate it's kind of terrifying might, might, need, might need that double or queen size though at that point i would think this is making a generalization there an alaskan king an alaskan alaskan king alaskan king I never heard of that expression. I heard Eastern and Western King. There's a California King. King and Eastern. There's King, there's right? an Alaska. There's a what California, the hell is an Alaskan? I'm uh, an Alaskan big, King. Big enough to, to to fit a whale in. What does that Alaskan mean? An Alas- I, I I knew this last week because I was talking to John about it. Uh, an Alaskan King, like its name namesake, is enormous at nine feet by nine feet. And then there's an Alberta King, which is uh, eight feet by eight feet. And then there's the California King and the Eastern King. Wait, so they're bigger than the other kings we have yes. here. Yeah, an Alaskan king is the biggest, I believe. Nine feet by nine feet. Because the California king is wider but shorter, shorter. and the Eastern king is a little bit shorter but t- tall. Longer, yeah. Yeah, so I have an Eastern king. An Alaskan king is just a fucking nine foot by nine foot monstrosity. The California kings were, were usually the ones where it's like two matches they put together, I think. is that, That's how it works. It's like two two doubles or something. Um, I have the, yeah, I have, I have an Eastern king bed there. So how much bigger is an Alaskan king than an Eastern king? Like I said, nine feet by nine feet. That's big uh, as fuck. I, I, found, I found it. A Wyoming king is okay. seven feet by seven feet. What the f- A California king is... An Alaskan king looks like one and a half California Holy kings. Holy shit. Okay, I found a, I found a scale. A, an Eastern king, which I have, um, is 76 uh, by 80 inches. A California king. Oh, California king is 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 longer but shorter. Do I have a California king or an Eastern king? Shit, I got to measure it before I buy a, uh, a new bed frame. An Alaskan king is nine by nine. You're right. It's like fifty percent bigger. Yeah, almost. It's fifty percent wider and like twenty five percent longer. Holy shit! One hundred eight by one hundred eight. Sold with a three piece a three piece box spring. My lord, it's insane. I didn't know there was a twin, twin extra long. I guess. Well, I guess if you're, you know, an NBA player, you can get that. All right, I got an Eastern King. Yeah, I don't think I have a California King. Yeah, mine, mine's a. You, know, you want to go more wider than tall, I think. Unless you're, yeah. You don't want to rub elbows with your, you know, your loved one. Get away from me. I don't want to snuggle right now. Anyway, wow, I learn something new every day. There's, there's the Alaskan King. Jesus Christ. Okay. So are we talking about? Oh, gamer bed. Yeah. Okay. Where is this being sold at? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna look this up right now. What, anyway, or anything else to add, Ian? No, I think that's it. Yeah, this, maybe some people that have a hard time walking want this, or maybe you're you're sick. I'm not putting it totally down, but but if you can walk to a place to play a game, get off off your butt and walk to a place in order to uh, play the game. Right there, it's interesting because you have now the you have the standing desk, which are better for you, and you're more active with that. And now you get the total opposite of that. Yep. So.